Tarpon Springs teenager is on a mission to find the hit and run driver who destroyed his car and sent him and his passenger to a hospital. And he has plenty of solid evidence, including several large car parts that he retrieved from the accident scene. Peter Bernard is on the night beat in Clearwater with that story. Hi there, Keith. This happened around 9.45 Saturday night here at the Sunoco station at Gulf to Bay. And right up there is McMullen Booth. You all know where it is. It's on the west side of the Courtney Campbell. As he waited to make a left turn into the station, a Mercedes slammed into him at 50 miles an hour. This is what's left of Jacob Cuomo's pride and joy, his 2017 Hyundai Elantra. His friend, Sunoco clerk, Stephanie Del Angel, sat in the passenger seat. I'm very sore. My whole body hurts. Right. Um, I, I move slowly. The driver of a black Mercedes careened into them. After their initial shock, both were in for another. He uh, then backed up, asked me if I was okay. I walked out of the car. Um, I said some unfriendly words, and um, he then took off. You heard right. After slamming into Jacob's car, the driver, a guy in his 50s with white hair, didn't stick around. He's a coward. Um, I believe that someone to do to be irresponsible like that is a bad person the driver left behind some crucial clues jacob scooped up his front bumper and managed to salvage this fog light and turn signal he's spent hours since the crash trying to find him i want him to turn himself in um you know it's either you can turn yourself in and um take it and you know kind of man up about it stephanie has a message for the man who plowed into them i wouldn't be nice that's that's for sure i'd be like you're a coward how could you do something like that to us and be so irresponsible? Back here live, neither Jacob nor Stephanie have health insurance, so it's really setting them back. Despite her injuries, Stephanie returned to work on Saturday, and I just went into the Sunoco moments ago. She's behind the counter right now. Clearwater cops are on this case. Keith? Well, maybe the Clearwater police will uh, find some information on those car parts that he retrieved. Maybe some part numbers track down that car and find who did this. Peter Bernard Hope on so. the Night Beat in Clearwater. Thank you.